Hello and welcome to the video. Uh, my name is Carolyn and this is a series on a development uh, in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm using my DJI Mini 2 drone to film the aerial shots. And what, what we're doing is uh, we're filming a church that has sold some property and that property is being cleared to build a school and some townhomes. So I'm hovered a little bit while my GPS gains its location should take just a moment for it to finish and there we are done and we'll just fly up a little bit and check out the surroundings so this this field used to be so densely populated with trees pine trees uh, just look to your left and you see those pine trees well it look exactly the same so it's quite the difference I'm gonna pan around a little bit just to show you uh, there are right on the border of other subdivisions there's the back side of the church. Nice cloudy day in Florida. And we'll pan down and take a look at the, the ground. You can see uh, no trees left and they're currently clearing the roots. There's a lot of sand. You can see the white sand. And that's a good sign because it was mostly uh, brown roots before. We have a few piles of roots. Uh, smaller piles, bigger piles, as they continue to work and clear this land. It's kind of been fun to watch them, you know, in the process of clearing it. They definitely have steps to take. I do miss the trails, though. That, that uh, the pine tree little forest area was full of just fun little walking trails. So, all right, so we're going to fly back a little bit, just give you a really good aerial view. Lots of standing water to the left. It rains nearly every day in Florida. And unfortunately, the, the, uh, there's no irrigation set up yet. <clears throat> so they're working on solving the, the standing water solution. And once we get into the video a little more, I'll show you what they've done. But we're just going to continue flying back a little bit to the edge of the property. You can see there's power lines, little road. And scrolling to the left, I just noticed this on the video. You can see the orange uh, little tarp down there, rectangle, with the black uh, pipes. Well, it looks like they're getting ready to put in the sewage system. And if you continue to scroll around, you can see the little power, power center, power plant there. And in the very distance, you can see some poles, large poles, and that is Top Golf. <laughs> Jacksonville Town Center up to the very top. And we'll swing around in a minute and show you uh, the subdivision located next to the field. I think it's called um, Crossroads uh, Subdivision or, gosh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay. So now we're going to fly in a little bit and we're just going to get a little bit lower really aware of the surroundings. Flying a drone is a lot of fun, but this particular drone does not have a lot of sensors on it. So if I were to run into a wall, I would run into a wall. It does have a sensor on the bottom. Lots of standing water. In fact, you can see little hues of green in the water. That's how long <clears throat> this water has been standing. It's just been long enough for algae to start growing in it. There are three pine trees to the right. We'll come back to that. But I think I might try something fun with you all. I think I might try to fly my drone in between the, the pine trees. Again, try not to crash it. The top right of your screen, you see the brown uh, mulch piles. The crew has been working on that for quite a while taking all those tree stumps and grinding them up. Looks like a pretty big pile, but it was much larger than that. Trying to get a little closer to the equipment, but right in front of me there are some power lines as well, so trying to be very careful. I always thought it was interesting that these piles of mulch are different colors and I think that some of the mulch have a lot of um, dirt in them, I'm going to guess, maybe darker roots, 
while other piles are lighter, which are mostly the trunk of the pine tree. There you can see those last standing pine trees on the left. And let's fly over and check out this big pile. And positioning myself to get a little bit closer. You can see all those tire tracks from the tractors. They've been through there hundreds of times trying to get all the last roots. And okay, we're hovering a little bit just getting in position and then we'll, we'll swing around and we'll fly over this pile of debris. On the left, you can see those are really tree roots and on the right are more bushes, but they have it very nicely stacked up, very organized. I think the crew does a pretty good job uh, they seem very uh, seasoned at doing this. Um, it is taking a while to get this process done, but only because of the, the rain, the daily rain showers we have. And I keep pointing it out, but I love those pine trees. Looks like there's one healthy one, one that's turning, leaves are turning brown, and one that may be, may be dead. <clears throat> All right, we've got a little ditch that uh, the crew has dug to try to funnel the water out. And where would it go? Well, I'll show you. We'll, uh, we'll drop down a little bit and um, scroll around. But as you see, there's the water pump. And I was wondering, why are those trees not taken down yet? But they're so close <clears throat> to the edge there. It may be just a difficult position for them to get to. But yeah, here's our, our little ditch that they dug, trying to, to create a path for the water to go. And we'll zoom out and then uh, fly a little bit closer to this, this tree line, these houses. I was a little concerned about these houses. I'm like, this is a lot of water. Now that the trees are gone, you know, there's nothing to soak up the water. And how close is the water getting to their house? But it looks like uh, the houses are built up just a tiny bit. So I think they're clear from any flooding in their property. But okay, now we're going to do something a little fun for you. We're going to fly through this tree line. <clears throat> and I do like this shot because you can see the beautiful sky reflected off this beautiful pond or uh, standing water. It's funny, it's only <clears throat> probably six inches deep, four inches deep, but it makes it look like it's much deeper. If you like the video, please consider subscribing. I'm having a lot of fun filming these videos and would love uh, any support or comments that you might have. I'm a new YouTuber, so I'm just kind of getting used to the, the whole process here. But all right, here we go. Again, this is a, a relatively inexpensive drone, but I definitely don't want to crash it in anything. And I continue to drop down and get a little bit closer, and the goal is just to fly through these trees or down the way a little bit. To the left of that black tarp is where the water is being funneled. <clears throat> so it, they dug a trench all through that, that tree line, to the left of that tree line, all the way down to the edge of the field. I have another video, which I'll link, which shows it an on the, on the ground um, view of what that ditch looks like. All right, I think I'm doing a pretty good job of not crashing. And I continue just to fly an inch a little bit uh, further down the field. You can see all the tire tracks of the, uh, the trucks coming down, the equipment. And we'll go a little bit further. And then I, I think I see some, um, some trees down the way and I just kind of like, okay, let's, let's not go any further. All right, this is a great view of the water that's being drained. That whole trench, it, it was there, but it was pretty much overgrown. So they cleared a lot of the, the branches and bushes and made it so water could really flow out. 
And then as you can see, I gave up of flying down that path and I'm like, let's get out of here. Let's go to safety. And when you're a new drone flyer, safety means flying really high. <laughs> so we're going to come up a little bit and let's show you around the church. Big back open field. Uh, you can see some little circles in the, the grass. That's from our local rednecks that just had a ball spinning out in the back there. Little playground for the children. There's also a preschool in this church. And let's go ahead and fly around the side of the property. Lots of parking spaces for this church. Very big congregation. There's a couple motorcyclists driving through. Okay, and as we come to the front of the church, uh, there's a little pond. This is a pond that they're going to move all the wildlife to. Um, there is a pond, which I'll show you in just a moment, that's going to be relocated. Uh, there's the intersection of Gate Parkway and Shiloh Mill Boulevard, and that'll be the uh, entry point to get to the church. So now I can pan around, you see this, this little uh, retention pond. This is going to be moved. This will be a road. So all the wildlife in that pond will be in the, the new pond, the first pond that I showed you. You can see the black tarp kind of circling around that uh, pond. Okay, trying to get a little aerial of the church as well. Beautiful church. And I'm going to impress you with my fancy flying skills. This is all done very manually, flying sideways and going around the church. I've been practicing. <laughs> all right, again, view of the back of the church with the, the big field. They hold events in that field, it's a lot of fun and a view of the whole field, the whole uh, cleared area. So as you can see, it's just a work in progress. I think they'll eventually get all the water drained and it'll eventually stop raining every day. And then they'll be able to uh, start with, uh, I believe it's the sewage and power lines and then maybe start uh, creating some roads. Yep, and again, see the beautiful pine trees? That's exactly what this cleared field looked like. It was just gorgeous. I like these shots where I'm flying away from um, a point that I'm trying to focus on, like flying away from the church. I think it just gives it really nice depth. If anybody has any tips on filming, please let me know, put it in the comments. Now we're almost uh, to the end of this video, but I want you to stick around for the very end because it's the most satisfying piece of the video to me <clears throat> is the uh, landing shot, the return to home. So as we're starting to uh, ascend, you can see uh, that that probably just means one thing, and that's because I'm low on battery, and I push the return to home button on the drone. <laughs> I really do love the return to home. Um, it's nice because I don't have to worry about landing it, and it lands in exactly the same spot where it took off. and get a really good view of where we are. This is Jacksonville, Florida, North Florida, off of J. Turner Butler Boulevard and Gate Parkway. And my drone has uh, found its uh, landing location. So it's gonna, I'm gonna spin around a little bit. And as we continue to, to go down, land, uh, I'll just give a nice little angle of the field. 
I really do like this as it lands. I just love the perception it gets. You know, you can get really great aerial shot. And then as you get lower and lower, it really gives you just a nice, you know, view. Yeah, great shot of all the mulch that they've done and some of the equipment out there. Coming down past the trees, closer to the parking lot. And so satisfying just to land. Love it. All right, please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. Thank you.